Hi guys, a bit of an exclusive today on the Optic Watch Reviews channel. This is the uh, Seiko SLA-045. 300 pieces limited edition for the um, retailer called Tong Sia. It's a uh, retailer for Southeast Asia. That would be uh, Brunei, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Singapore. And I'm probably the first one to, to get the call. It just arrived yesterday in Hong Kong. And I'm going to zoom in right away. You want to see the patterns on this dial. Very original. I like to believe this is uh, what the skin of a shark looks like in close-up. I'll never go myself to, <laughs> to, to check it out. Uh, honestly, not quite sure what they were aiming for, but it is very, very cool, this uh, texture. So what this is, as you know, it's a Marine Master 300. Uh, currently, there is a, a black, a blue, uh, a green version, limited edition uh, as well. And uh, this is a brand new thing, so with a sort of a gray, very gray, interesting gray dial. And you have the ceramic blue bezel lovely shade of fairly dark blue you got the loom there i don't know if you can tell but the markers up to 20 are loomed while the rest isn't so you have the vertical lines here the 10 and the 20 loomed which is um it's a first it's a first for me to have the marine master 300 not long ago i showed you the SPB, I think it's the 145. So this is a 200 meter air diver. This is a saturation diver. As you might probably know, if you're interested in, to, uh, in Seiko, so the Marine Master 300 is the upper echelon with an 8L35 uh, Grand Seiko uh, type movement. You get the Grand Seiko Zaratsu polishing on the side of the the case very brutish case 50 millimeters lug to lug so it wears a bit you know like an skx uh, would although it's a 44 millimeter watch on the wrist from the top it doesn't wear that big yes it's 15 millimeter thick which is why i never wanted to uh, to get one but you get so many upgrades beyond the the movement the resistance you also have when you pull up this part of the clasp, you have a little ratcheting extension. It's a bit, a bit difficult. It actually tends to open itself uh, when you try to uh, to close the close the watch. Uh, and uh, yeah, the SPB one uh, one eight five is sort of um, two years ago. There was a, a already a, a baby Marine Master or, or Marine Master two hundred, uh, but I didn't really like the, the look of it. This one that came out came out this year along with. Um, black bezel blue dial or, or the opposite really caught my attention with that steel bezel because it really keeps the same the same profile the same uh, brutish lines just making them more compact to uh, please more wrists so my wrist is 17 centimeter it's still okay for this but obviously it's not going to slide under a cuff you could wear this almost with a with a suit. It's much thinner, and uh, and more compact. Very cute, a very petite watch. Although it has this brutish look because of this steel bezel. You don't have that special extension here. There's a regular diver's extension, and it's a six R thirty five movement. Which, by the way, I've been um, I've been saying that it, it is. Um, not as accurate as the 6R15, but I think because it's a 3D power reserve, you need to wind it a lot more. So it might often run too low on the power reserve to, to keep uh, great accuracy. We'll come back to, to that. Today we want to talk about this uh, exclusive, really. Uh, first you're going to see, and uh, you're not going to see many 
in the US is going to be a bit hard to to get. And as you can see, there's a painted blue hand which works together with with, with the bezel, uh, I think. And also the 300 meters is uh, is in blue. It's a bit obscured here. You can see how long it, it is. So not the the uh, not as good as a uh, ideal as a glide of, of of Rolex, but at least you you get something on the on the fly. Four points of anchoring here. So a lot of adjustments possible here uh, with, with, with this watch. I've removed three links so far. So it's pushing a bit there because I had to push in the anchoring there. So I could remove maybe one more link here to make it. Uh, I don't like when it's pushing between two links. Uh, I try to get something a bit more natural. But anyway, here there's no case back. Well, what you see here is not a clip on case back or anything. Everything is top loaded for this saturation diver that doesn't have any escape valve. So it's a professional kind of a kind of tool. You have uh, the sign crown. Nice and smooth to wind a uh, bit of a nice little ratchet there. It hacks obviously and uh, on this first position, you can change the, the date. Actually here, uh, unlike lower grade second movements, this one, you go up to change the date, not, not down. And uh, let's move the hands out of the way to, uh, and interestingly uh, as well, uh, here you go down all the seikos. Normally you go up to change the time and here you have to go down. It's the first time I have an 8L35, so pardon my surprise a bit here. With this watch, let's re-engage it. Nice and smooth with the crown at four o'clock, almost four o'clock. Now we can zoom in. You can see the nice symmetry on the dial. And let's uh, zoom in a little bit here. Lots of reflection here. I'll try to get some uh, natural light shots tomorrow. It's already nighttime in Hong Kong today, but I wanted to share this with the Seiko path, the Seiko fanboys, people who are interested or who already love the uh, Marine Master 300. As I was saying, it is the uh, top of the top of the range for the, the Seiko prospects. One of the SLA watches, as you know, they've been re reissuing many, many models. Uh, so this one is obviously the more the more massive type of uh, of case that they do and let's uh, take a good look at the the angles on the side of the the case you see many things ha going on here it's a nice little lip between the the brushed and the polished side so it's polished on the tin plate it's the Zaratsu polishing. It easily gets marked by fingerprints. Quite a unique, unique design. Very Seiko. Is it worth just short of uh, 3,000 US? Is it competitive? Is it not? Well, it, it is Seiko. They, they do what they do. They do it their own way. You can compare it to what Omega does, what Breitling does as much as you want. Uh, if you if you want the watch, you're going to you're going to get the watch. Uh, they have their own uh, design language, their own uh, technical qualities. And, uh, you know, it, it's never perfect. Of course, no watch is perfect. You, you take them as they come. I got 15 percent off. Uh, on this watch, so I get a pretty reasonable price in line with where the other Marine Masters trade for, which is reasonable. Now, the bezel, listen to this, it, it is very good. Lighter than the um, Rolex bezel, Submariner bezel. The Rolex bezel kind of kind of feels like it's rolling on uh, little balls or, or something here. It's a bit more more delicate, a bit bit more thin. I'll put it next to the microphone.
but it is it is quite pleasant one of the, the best Seikos one I've had and it uh, it lines up really well I think one of the pleasures of this watch is the, the, the brushed finish finish on the hands which are by the way also very distinctive for, for this watch and uh, I gotta say the second hand is uh, is very blue <laughs> it, it is uh, quite uh, quite striking very uh, sort of gleaming as if it was still uh, uh, the paint was still was still wet so let me know if you have any any questions things you want to see uh, about this watch comparison you want to do with other watches from Seiko that uh, you might have seen on my channel here are the two two watches to together the baby and uh, the big daddy you can see the it, it's really a reduced version that I have here on, on the left but everything is deluxe deluxe on the the big daddy on the marine master 300 and of course if you are a saturation diver well up to 300 meters this is not gonna let you down I'll probably do another video with a bit more with better light it's annoying here uh, to have the uh, artificial light but I had to share this because I'm sure the fanatics will love it one more look at the case back the clasp I hope you've enjoyed this thanks for watching guys bye bye